In this video, I am going to show you how to calculate standard deviation and variance using Microsoft Excel. I'm going to show you how to do the calculations for standard deviation and variance using the Microsoft Excel commands and also how to do it longhand. If you're trying to learn how to do this longhand, I would encourage you to watch another video first and I put a link to it below. I also have an entire playlist on standard deviation and variance and I would encourage you to watch some of those videos. So let's start with Microsoft Excel. I've already typed in all my numbers um, and titles, so you can kind of see how I have it all set up. If you plan to follow along using Excel, I'd encourage you to pause the video and get it all set up and then come back and follow along. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sum up this column of data. So I click on the first value, which is B2, and I'm going to pull down, drag down, the cursor, close parentheses. You can also type in this command, sum b2 colon b7, sounds like bingo. Next thing I do is hit equal, type the word count, open parentheses, I select the first value and then type colon and drag down to the bottom. You can also just type the command. Now I'm going to calculate the average, so I hit equal and type the word average. Open parentheses, click on the first value and drag down. And close parentheses. And you can also just type the command. Now I'm going to use the Excel command for variance and standard deviation, and you can check your longhand work against these answers. So I'm going to type the word var, equal var, and click on the first value, colon, and then drag down to the last value, which is down to 18, and close parentheses. And here's the command. You'll notice that Excel has the command or several different commands for variance. In this case, I'm using a sample, VAR, which means I divide by n minus 1 versus just n. The other one is population and var p, and you wouldn't divide by n minus 1 in that case. It's just divided by n. I'll do the same thing for standard deviation. I hit equal, STDEV, for the sample standard deviation. Click on the first value and drag down, or just type in commands. Oops, try that again. B2 colon, drag down to B7, close parentheses, and here's the command I'm using. Just like variance, you'll see that standard deviation, there's multiple choices. In this case, I'm using the sample standard deviation versus the population standard deviation, and the difference is whether I divide by n minus 1 or just n. I have an entire video explaining degrees of freedom. You'll see the link below for that. And now I'm going to do this by hand. And just in case your professor is making you do it by hand, I'm going to show you how to do it in Excel the long way. So now we take the observation, which is 16, B2 minus the mean. Put a little dollar sign in here. And that dollar sign means to hold that row constant. Now hover over that cell and look for the little plus sign. And when you see it, click on it and drag straight down. I'm going to click on this cell with 96 and drag the sum calculation to the right. This column should always add up to zero. Now I'm going to calculate the values in column D. I hit equal sign and I'm going to square everything in column C. Now I'm going to click on that cell and drag it all down to copy the formula straight down. I'll just drag the calculation to the right, or you can type in the actual command. For ease, I'm going to drag the count calculation to the right. It'll be six in each of the columns. Now I'm going to calculate the variance, so I hit equal, D8, and I take the sum of column D divided by 
n minus 1 or 6 minus 1. I'm taking the sum of column D, which is D8, 24 or D8, divided by the number of observations, which is 6 minus 1. So now when I hit enter, I have the calculation for variance. And standard deviation is take that number, take the square root, or I take D11 hat 0.5, like that. And that 0.5 means take a square root of it, which is the same thing as raising any number to the 1 half power, or 0.5. Share the knowledge, share the love. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Plus, like me. There's also a playlist on standard deviation. I'll show you how to do this by hand, all kinds of other stuff about standard deviation right below.